Hi Church family, it's a privilege as always to be able to share with you today um, and I just want us to do something really simple in this video which is just wait on the presence of God um, and allow his Holy Spirit to fill us afresh. I believe the Lord wants to use this time to really awaken the church and I think if we're willing to listen he wants to teach us how to survive with just him just in his presence in any situation whether we can physically get into a church building or meet with each other or not whether we're confined to our homes whether we're going through something tough or we're going through a joyful season um, and I just think that this is the perfect time to open ourselves to him and to go deeper and to learn how to not put our relationship with him into a box, not to reduce it down to a church service or a church meeting or a worship song here and there, but actually to really learn how to host that presence daily, which is what the Bible talks about, to just be hosting the presence. Um, and hey, I know I'm definitely not there yet. Um, I know that I've got a way to go. And so I've just come up with some really simple declarations that I think will help me in my daily life, whether I'm pottering around doing the washing up, whether I'm at work, busy amongst children, amongst people, whether I'm around family, whether I'm on my own in my quiet time, whether I'm exercising, whatever it is, I just really wanna be allowing the Holy Spirit to just fill me continuously and to be aware of that presence, to feel that tangible presence as I'm doing whatever it is that I'm doing and to not let anything that's going on be a distraction. Um, when I heard Pete Carter speak years ago when I was doing the Eastgate School of Supernatural Ministry, which is the School of Supernatural Life now, but he talked about the fact that he constantly prays in tongues, that in the back of his mind, he's constantly praying in tongues, no matter what he's doing, no matter what he's saying out loud to other people, no matter who he's around. And I just think that must be such a powerful place of presence to be living in. Um, and I'm not there yet at all. So I'm thinking that if I can get some declarations running through my head throughout the day and just really be trying to be more aware of his presence and asking him continuously to fill me when I get up in the morning throughout the day and when I go to bed um, then actually I can start adding in praying in tongues whenever I can in my head as well um, but I just really want us all to come out of this time of lockdown um, ready for this next season because I do think that there's something new and something really exciting coming and so I'd really just love us to be able to go into that season so full of his presence, so aware of his presence that out of the overflow of that comes the gifts of the spirit in full force, the fruits of the spirit that, that affects everybody around us. We can be the light of the world and the salt of the earth. We can be Jesus to everybody that we see um, because that's what it's all about, hey guys. And so we just live from that place of knowing him so well and knowing who we are and whose we are and that we can trample on the heads of scorpions and snakes, that we can undo every work of the devil because we are his and his presence lives within us, his life-changing presence, not just for us, but for everybody else. So I'd really love it if you could join in um, with these declarations and just use these however you want to allow the presence to just fill you daily over and over and over again. Lord, your presence is precious to me. It is all I need. It is with me wherever I go. I give you my thoughts and my affections now. I receive more of your presence now. In your presence there is fullness of joy. I receive it now. In your presence there is perfect peace. I receive it now. Thank you, Lord, for your presence. I wait on you, longing to know you more. Reveal yourself to me. Amen.